day seven starts now and looking back at the leaderboard so far, things have shaken out quite a bit different than I thought. Outside drift bikes have dominated, carts have proven to be more viable than anticipated, and inside drift bikes appear to be the worst. Everything is backwards. I have the only point using the quacker for inside drift, but that may change today in an unexpected way. It is time to test our luck on the Phantom on day seven. It is full of unpredictability, more wild shortcuts, and like and subscribe because day eight is right around the corner. I never thought it would get to this point, <laughs> but yes, we are using the Phantom. I mean, we had to try the Phantom after what Police did last KO, day six, uh, final event, first place, and I mean, we never thought that would be possible, so <laughs> I'm starting to believe anything's possible. And hey, I mean, this thing's actually pretty decent. Yeah, no, this is good. This is so much better than I thought. I just think the, the bikes feel a lot better than the carts. Like, even when the carts have more handling than some of the bikes, I just feel more comfortable on the bikes. I think it's just the way that they pivot with hops. It just feels more favorable. Like, look at that. I feel like I'm doing better with this than I do with the bit bike on Coconut Mall. Wow. This thing is so good. This is like zip zip level. And I mean, I expect it to be the worst vehicle I've used so far. That was so much fun. Wow, under a minute, Coconut Mall even got bumped off on lap one. I don't know, maybe we're gonna be on Phantom all day. One thing that's pretty surprising is I still have the only point with an inside your vehicle, the Quacker. I'm sure that'll change, but I just realized that by looking at the leaderboard. S, B, or J, Chem, eliminated. Final 10, Police barely survives. Roxy on the Sugar Scoot. Who is in second? Was that Mpex? We have a stacked room. This is the most stacked room we've, we've had, I think. I mean, Machutino, Mpex, Police, Roxy, all people with points on the leaderboard. I mean, collectively, probably have like 20 points on the leaderboard, over two thirds of the total points on the leaderboard <laughs> in this room with the competitors. Wow, I'm only at seventh right now, okay. Hopefully a couple people don't bullet past me here at the end. We're good, but that was pretty scary. This is very playable. I seriously think I'm gonna use this all day. I don't know if I'll get a point, but it's definitely possible. Police is out, ninth place. We also had a disconnection, so we're at the final eight. All right, we're going for the new shortcut. And I know Roxy's gonna go for it. A lot of people are, oh, not even close. All right, I think I got a wheelie and I know I got a hold. I'm going for the other one now. What a disaster of a first lap. All right, well, surprisingly, I'm not even in last. We are in sixth place overall, so that bodes well for me. Definitely going for the left side shortcut, lap two and three. This is a really, oh gosh, really important part of the level. You just gotta be so careful. I got it, I got it. No, oh, I got it! <laughs> the invisible wall completely saved me. I had no business making that. That's nice to know the invisible wall goes up that high. I mean, wow. Now I'm in fourth. I see Roxy and I believe Machutino going for shortcut. Roxy makes it. Oh, I'm done. Oh my gosh. Okay, good thing I have quite a bit of space over bottom two. I'm definitely not safe. This is really close now. Okay, I almost got it. Oh, it's gonna be really close. I gotta really not screw this up. I'm in seventh. We're good, we're good. Sixth is all I need. <sighs> I beat the baby Luigi by half a second. Wow, so many mistakes on that one. At least I got the shortcut once. I'm gonna really have to practice that one before the Invitational. All right, let's see who got out. Me, my Wii, and Geb. Final six, single Elim now. As most of you know watching the series, you win with the vehicle and you can't use it anymore. You have to get points by winning with different vehicles. So, I mean, it's quite hilarious. I haven't got that much practice with good vehicles. I mean, after day three, we exhausted all the best vehicles. 
in the game mode. So I just have to use all these weird ones now. So I'm gonna have to practice the bit bike before the invitational because we only were using bit bike for the first two days. And I mean, the Sugar Scoot and Wario bike are also very good. They don't feel that much different than the bit bike. But once you are done with those three, the rest are quite a step down. I would say those are like the S tiers. I mean, bit bike's probably double S tier, seriously. It's in a league of its own. It's like the flame runner of 150cc. Wow, some people are so good at this track. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna have to practice with actual good vehicles before the Invitational because we just are on the Phantom right now and I don't really know how much this is gonna help me for, you know, when the Invitational comes. Alright, we're surviving. It wasn't pretty. Good thing it wasn't a Final Four race. I was nowhere near top three, but we live in. Let's see who got out. Interesting. All right. So Roxy eliminated in second place overall. Cacti dominating right now. Machitino also having a really good GP. We're surviving. And maybe Roxy like didn't get a lap count or something. It's very surprising. Police got out by not getting a lap count on Luigi's circuit. Roxy got out by flying through the, the wall inside the mansion and respawning at the very beginning of the lap. So uh, two of the best competitors in the format series out early here. This gives us an actual chance to win with the Phantom. I mean, we still have Mpex, Machutino, Cacti, who's proving to be a real threat in the tournament series after getting his first point last time. So it's gonna be a fun ending here. I just hope I can make it to at least the final four with the Phantom. No, no. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. You can get soft locked on the waterfall and not respawn. You could literally just get stuck there the entire race. I've seen it happen to multiple competitors. All right, I really wanna get this shortcut. Okay, I mean, <laughs> that's fine, I guess. I have a pretty sizable lead over the Toad player, and all I need is fourth. <laughs> we're good, we're good. <laughs> the Phantom is good, guys. I'm serious. The Phantom is, is like, probably B tier in this. We can't get that shortcut. I feel like my wheelies aren't staying out. Maybe not enough speed when I'm using the wheelie. One of the funniest things about this game mode is how little it matters when you get hit obstacles. I mean, some of them matter. Like, getting hit by a truck on Moonview is pretty bad. But then, you know, getting squished by a car on Moonview is actually kind of helpful. And getting hit by a zapper, same deal. I mean, it really doesn't hurt you very much. If anything, it makes it easier to play the tracks. OGM out. I'm in last on points by a lot. This is probably where I go out, but I mean, hey, 999cc, you never know. Okay, not getting started boost. I think I can survive this one. I'm using my bonus, maybe it's a bullet. Star, that, that's actually, the star slows you down. It's really funny, so I can't use this. This is an insane race. I'm out! That is so heartbreaking. All right, we can't give up. You never know. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just barely hit the deep end. All right, we're still getting, you know, used to the Phantom. I think I can get a point with this thing. I don't know if it'll be today, but I really want to continue to use Phantom. All right, let's see who wins this event number one of day seven. A dominating start by Cacti versus Mpex here in the finals. Cacti has not fallen off, showing he's a true competitor in this 999 tournament series. Maybe Cacti is going to win the Invitational. I, I said this early, I was like, people are going to get better at the game mode, and in the later half, we're going to have some true competitors that people don't see on their radar. We knew Police was going to be dominating, get a lot of points. But I mean, Cacti didn't have a point until yesterday, then was able to just completely dominate the, this finals here. I mean, Mpex went for shortcut lap three, and uh, it's, a, it's a runaway. That's it. I mean, Cacti is kind of trolling right now, <laughs> backing up into the finish line. Cacti gets a point on the Wario bike and has about a 99% chance of making it to the Invitational. Two points is probably going to be enough. We don't even have 12 names on the leaderboard, including me right now, to qualify for the Invitational. There's a chance the Invitational will only have 10 people or something. All right, so MPEG second place, Cacti gets the victory. Event number two coming up right now. 
This is absolutely one of my least favorites for the format. I think it's incredibly hard to play. I'm just happy it's shown up first. It gives me a better chance at surviving. Already having a tough time. You can go through the wall on the left and skip this U-turn, but it doesn't really save that much and it's super risky. So you don't really see anyone going for it. Yeah, I'm just barely in it right now. Whoa! Must have been the Rosalina that bumped me, because there's no way a baby Mario can do that to me. <laughs> I'm in fifth now. Okay, cool. Just gonna try to remember to hop. Not get completely wrecked by the Goomba this time. Alright, this is going really well. I'm gonna survive. Just gonna keep it going slow. Not fly through any walls unnecessarily. <laughs> everyone struggles on this one. Well, almost everyone. Some people have it figured out. Gotta finish in style. As you all know, Machutino Police dominated that one. Let's see who got out. Hollow Iris and Chem eliminated. Final 10. Let's see if the competitors have gotten better at this track. I feel like I used to dominate top three every single time. Might not be the case anymore. Let's find out. Oh yeah, people have definitely gotten better at it. And I've gotten worse. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. There we go. Okay, I'm feeling a little better now. Gotta shift my angle. Triple mushroom skip. Back in it. Gotta hold. Yeah, I'm holding down. I was holding up fast fell too early. This thing gets less air than some of the other lightweight vehicles. Gotta remember that. I'm really loving the Phantom. I think I'm gonna stay Phantom all day. Whoa, oh. That's so strange. Sometimes I fly into that post full speed. It counts my lap. I finished the race, but I just crawled into it. Got nothing. <laughs> Good thing the race wasn't close. Would have been heartbreaking. Fourth place, another stacked room, and Wartob Lep Temis eliminated. Final eight. <laughs> this is like the hardest GP ever. GCN Mario Circuit and this in the same GP. Oh my. All right. Oh, did not want to hit that. I'm a little worried. I'm good. I'm good. Wow, that worked out so well. Don't want to hit the cactus. Incredible first lap. Definitely my best first lap ever on this track. And I mean, when you hit the zippers, it's usually a bad thing. I think I have to hit this involuntarily. Okay, okay, please don't fly through the wall. It's, it's just somehow working out. I hope I hope I hit this. <laughs> All right, we're taking a little detour. It's kind of one of the fun parts about this game mode is you end up on parts of the track that you forget even exist. Like <laughs> I'm in first and look at the lines I've been taking. Oh my gosh, this is my best race ever with the with the Phantom. I mean, go go go! First place with the Phantom. I think it's the first time that's happened and I can check that off the list, but now I need to get a KO victory with the Phantom. We still have quite a few more tries. I mean, you know, including this event, there's still 15 more events before the Invitational. Gives me plenty of tries. Gonna do my best, we'll see, but we just beat police with the Phantom, so that is a confidence booster, 100%. Boss Boy, 28, Esphere J, eliminated, single Elim now, final six. <laughs> I'm gonna try the new strat. The one that police and MPEX do. You guys saw it in the last video. When we were in spectate mode watching the finals. Maybe, just maybe. Maybe not. Where am I gonna respawn? I don't like this. That's that's pretty good. No, 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 no. I, I totally misunderstood where I was respawning. Oh, I'm in so much trouble. Alright, good thing this is a long track. Wow, this is horrible. I really don't want to get out on this one. Good thing it's single Elim. Okay, well I'm in fifth now, that's good.
I don't think this thing has enough acceleration to do that strategy. I'm just gonna try the old school method. No luck. Last place, uh, Baby Mario is going for shortcut. Looks like they didn't make it either. Really intense right now. I do have a little bit of breathing room, but if Baby Mario nails the shortcut and I fall out of bounds and get a bad respawn, mm, I'm probably out. It's gonna come down to this right now. All right, well that's better than a bad respawn, but that's still really bad. I'm gonna survive, I think. This isn't last. Oh my gosh, the baby Mario got the shortcut, respawned at the bridge, but it wasn't enough. Unbelievable, I just watched the baby Mario catapult past half the map, it said I was in sixth, blinking red position counter, but it looks like Geb was not able to pull off the impossible because he had to respawn, so 31 points, I'm in the final five. Consistent, good placements with the Phantom. Maybe this is my event, we'll see. Gonna go for a new shortcut. Got it, I'm in first. I don't think the shortcut saves enough time. Well, it probably saves like half a second or something. I don't think it's worth doing. Okay, I watched police do a really cool strat here. Let's try it. It works, I'm gonna get the respawn. Unbelievable, that is so incredible. Of course I failed the simplest shortcut after making both the bigger ones. All right, so uh, yeah, gonna go for that again. Right next to police here. <laughs> I mean, hey, that shortcut's faster if you're gonna hit bombs like I am right now. We're in last. Or no, there's five. All right, I love that shortcut. That's the safer method. Mpex even showed me a better one. I just haven't practiced it. I don't feel comfortable going for it in this final. Oh my. Final four scenario, I should say. Or final five, actually. Is someone a lap behind? I don't know. It says I'm in third. Oh, you know what it is? Someone... I don't, I don't know if I got it. I didn't get it! Are you serious? Oh, I got it, I got it. I think I'm safe. So what happens on this track, I couldn't even finish my sentence, I was so nervous. But anyway, yeah, I got fourth, not third. What happens on the track is when people do the shortcut, they finish so close to the finish line, sometimes our games don't think they even got the lap count. So the position counter gets messed up, but it doesn't matter because it shows the correct positions at the end of the race. Home Depot out, surprising. Final four, here we go. I do think I have a decent chance to survive this one. This is one of my best tracks, no question. And then we have Daisy Circuit next, so I don't feel great about that one. All right, gotta focus. It takes extra focus the further we get into this tournament series and the vehicles get worse and worse. I don't think I got it. Fail. No! That was almost so good! All right, I'm in last. I'm gonna use potentially a bullet. Star. All right, I can still I can still survive. I have to do the mean turbo strat. This thing's acceleration isn't good enough to do the regular just drive into the lava method. I'm I'm okay. DPC did not go for cut. It looks like. Wow. Just barely living here. I need to get shortcut. I think as long as I get respawn, I'll be fine. Oh! Yes! 
I need to remember that strategy. That was the best shortcut I've gotten the entire tournament series. And it was with the Phantom. I have went for that shortcut probably like, I don't know, 20 times. And I always get the respawn or I fail it. Never have I landed on the rock like that. All right, DPC 99 out, final three. I do have a backup strat on this one if I fall really far behind. I'll charge a standstill main turbo, aim for the fence, try to skip the U-turn where the lighthouse is. I call it the jump scare shortcut. And I'm sure a lot of you know why. <laughs> that old 2008 video. All right, I think I might have to start utilizing the jump scare shortcut pretty soon. I don't think I have a chance here. I just turn slower and there's not really many places to mess up on this level. Well, right when I say that, okay, this is the best thing that could have happened. Now police has to go for a jump scare shortcut. Police caught up so much to me. <laughs> I just barely survived. I just barely survived. I beat police. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what happened to him. I guess he was going too fast on this section and flew out of bounds and got a really bad respawn. That's so unfortunate, but extremely lucky for me. I have a chance here. Machitino gets a point on the leaderboard, and this is it, the finals. I love how right when I was like, oh, you can't mess up on Daisy Circuit, really. <laughs> police gets the worst respawn imaginable. I guess I'll use my bonus. Okay, my red shell did not connect. Worth a try though. Got shortcut, we're dead even. This is such a great finals track, one of my favorites on the game mode. And we always have the crazy backup shortcut if we have to go for it, if we fall too far behind. So far, so good. Machatino's beasting. I'm playing perfect and I'm barely winning. He bombs me! But he falls off. Insane interaction. I think Machatino will go for a big shortcut here. Got it. We won with the Phantom! Let's go! Oh my gosh. All right, I don't know what to use. I feel like I gotta use like Spear or something. I'm serious. Like, <laughs> we just went with the Phantom. The Phantom was better than I expected. 60 points, not that many, just barely surviving, doing what I needed to do, being clutch and getting lucky with players getting bad respawns. Machitino still gets a point on the leaderboard since I play in every event and I'm automatically in the Invitational. If you make it to the finals versus me, you just auto get a point. So congrats to Machitino. He beat me on Bowser Castle 3 before, so he still has his, his like uh, victory screen on the leaderboard. But if people lose to me in the finals and they haven't won an event yet, they don't have like their me on the leaderboard. So that is how you know. All right, event number three, here we go. Okay, <laughs> we had to do this. This is such a bad idea, but I'm not the only one on Flame Runner. I believe Machitino, Police, and Mpex are also on Flame Runner. We're all memeing together. Yes! If I can yell that shortcut every single time, I should be able to survive. It's not gonna be easy. That is so unfortunate. Oh, just one more KMH. I probably would have had it. <laughs> I don't know. The acceleration's so bad. I was like, I'm going for it. I'm so done. All right, all right. Never give up. Give up. <laughs> Never again. Never again. But hey, I mean, MPEX survived. Machitino did pretty well. Police got fourth. Troy and Roy out, final 10. I'll see you guys at the finals. We usually only commentate the finals, but this is unprecedented. Probably won't happen again. We have, look at this, two Flame Runners in the semifinals. The final three against Cowman on the Wario bike, AKA Harold, but Machitino dominating performance just one dk mountain with the flame runner still in it top three and then of course we have police who just fell off who's on funky kong flame runner so we are guaranteed to see a flame runner 
in the finals. Police just nailed shortcut, by the way. Dead even with Matutino. And Cowman is miles behind. We might have a Flame Runner top two. This room started with five Flame Runners. Geb and Empex were also on Flame Runner. And, you know, I got out first race, but Matutino and Police are just dominating. They are a lap ahead of Cowman. It's going to be Machatino and Police in the finals on Toad's Factory fighting it out to see who can get the lone point with the Flame Runner. And I'd be very surprised if the Flame Runner gets another point on the leaderboard. These were very favorable tracks. Oh, blue shell. These were very favorable tracks for the Flame Runner. It was just such a good mix. Uh, a lot of the tracks did not require super high drift stats, and the Flame Runner was just able to stay in it. It's all about not getting last or second to last in the game mode. And even though the point totals are very low for the finals, we usually see people with 70, 80, 90, or even 100 points by now. 60 and 62 with Machitino and Police, respectively. Cowman out. Finals, right now. <sighs> Doesn't matter what game mode. Flame Runner, still meta. <laughs> this is very funny. I mean, hey, the Flame Runner, not meta, but clearly a mid tier vehicle in the format, which is extremely surprising. Yo! Machitino pulls off shortcut, lands on the conveyor belt and police gets the respawn shortcut, very insane. This shows that getting the full shortcut with the respawn versus getting the half shortcut landing on the conveyor belt and landing it without the respawn goes about equal. Really fascinating start. This is so close, we are in for a treat here. Is Machatino gonna get the respawn? Machatino does not get the respawn! Police takes a very convincing lead. I mean, it's, it's pretty much over. Police is the best at this track, we all talk about it. Police lapped me on this track. I don't get lapped very often in Mario Kart. I think it was day one or something. I just got decimated. But now I've gotten better at the shortcut, so I do feel more confident on this one. But yeah, once again, uh, Police just uh, nailing the shortcut to perfection. Lap three. And it's gonna have the lone point on the leaderboard with the Flame Runner. Hey, I had the only inside drift bike victory for so long, but not anymore. All right. Machutino, amazing performance, having a really good day on 999cc, but police, just too good. Just too good. As you guys know, the standard bike M, really good with inside drift on Retro Rewind. So, uh, hey, maybe it is playable on <laughs> the CC. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> really wanted that. I am tempted to just get a main turbo and fly through a wall and hope I don't fly through the other one. It's really risky though probably shouldn't do it. I don't want to hit that. Okay, good. I slowed myself down enough. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm going for it. Okay, no luck. I got to start playing really serious now and safe and smart. Hopefully other people make mistakes. I'm still in ninth, which is good. Gosh, this is tough. This is this is not nearly as good as the standard bike S. I can already tell. All right, so I wasn't able to pass anyone the last two laps after I started playing safer, but we did survive. I'm a little worried. I don't think I'm making it far, but I mean, hey, already got the Phantom point. Got a first place with the Phantom multiple times. Today has been great, and today has been so entertaining. Just the Flame Runner being so exceptionally good at every game mode. It's just the most beautiful vehicle in Mario Kart history. There is no vehicle in any Mario Kart game that I love using as much as the Flame Runner. Maybe not 999cc, but still. That finals was one for the books. Balls, Dags, Geb eliminated. And round two, we got 10 players. Roxy wins. We got Police and Matutino in here. No Mpex, but still a pretty stacked room. What? The top two, the top two were Donkey Kong standard carts. Are you kidding me? These two are thick as thieves. <laughs> I'm very entertained. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are too. This has been quite the chaos series. Everyone knows the strategy now. I missed, I missed the days when I was the only one doing this. Okay, I mean, it's so satisfying. This track is just a work of art. It doesn't matter what game mode. Kind of like the Flame Runner is for vehicles. Like this is just the best Bowser Castle track ever made. There's so many good Bowser Castle tracks too. I like the Bowser Castle tracks overall more than the Rainbow Road tracks. Let me know in the comment section, do you guys prefer overall in the history of the Mario Kart franchise, the Bowser Castle tracks or the Rainbow Roads? Cause I mean, they're both really popular. They both feature in every single game. And it took Nintendo six waves to finally put a 
retro Bowser Castle track inside Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but they put like freaking five Rainbow Roads. I don't know what that was about. Granted, I do like the Rainbow Roads. I think they're really cool. They're better than the circuit tracks, but you know, Bowser's Castle is where it's at, straight up. It's also funny how on like the old games, like the DS and the GBA, they used to call it Bowser Castle, but then on like GameCube and Wii, they call it Bowser's Castle. I wonder what made them switch it up. Random thoughts as I'm in third place, doing shortcuts, enjoying this beautiful game mode, somehow not falling off, and potentially getting second here, crazily enough. I just went through the fire pillar, yes. DPC David Illuminated Final Eight. <laughs> Yoshi Valley. <clears throat> I think this is probably my favorite custom track out of all of them for the five that we added. I mean, N64 Rainbow Road is also really good. It's just tough. I like it way more than Inside Drift. My least favorite is probably Luigi's Mansion. DSDK Pass is pretty good. And I mean, Rock Rock Mountain is low-key amazing. Like, the shortcut cracks me up every single time. It's so cool how you like fly through the wall, but it's not a wall that, you know, is, it's, it's not even a wall, it's the floor actually that you fly through. That's what makes it so special compared to the other uh, phase through wall shortcuts. And it's literally the glider cut in seven and eight deluxe, so gotta love it. Oh, I managed to get shortcut twice. The handling is just not quite here for this vehicle, so I really expected to fall off both times, but I mean, hey, maybe we can make the magic happen here with the standard bike. This thing is actually pretty good. We're in the final six. Things are going well so far. Police Machatino still in it for now. Let's see what happens. In a surprising turn of events, Police eliminated me, my Wii also out. Me and Police have the exact same amount of points on the leaderboard, so I really want to win this one now that Police is out. We got Sherbet Land and then Shy Guy Beach after this. I think this gives me a really good chance of making it to the final four, potentially. I mean, this does not feel as good as the Phantom, but I do like it better than the carts. Maybe except the Baby Booster. I'll use my bonus. Let's see what we get. I don't really want that. I'll use it here to slow myself down, and yes, the star actually slows you down. So it's kind of good in a way, but it's not really that useful. <laughs> That's the only section where it makes any sense to use it, because I have to go slow anyway. Very bad item for this game mode. The bullet bill is either the best item of all time, or it's the worst item. It's very hilarious. The bomb and blue shell are still pretty good. As we saw, Machatino <laughs> hit me with the bomb on Peach Gardens. Unfortunately, he fell off afterwards, which gave me the win, but he would have had it. And really having trouble making these corners. Gonna have to start playing a little more risky. Yes. Oh, I, that took everything. Full focus. Commentary had to, to wait. We ended up knocking out BG, uh, BMG, the last Wii Wheeler. Machutino, Roxy, doing really well. I'm holding my own here. Final five, Shy Guy Beach. Wario Bike, Bit Bike, Bit Bike. Standard Cart L, Standard Bike M. It's getting more crazy every single day. It's the beauty of the tournament series. Pixel perfect, tool assist. Dang, Home Depot tearing it up right now. I think OGM got lapped. All right, we're taking over first, gonna go slow. The hopping is just so busted. It's so important on this track with outside drift. You can just keep fixing your alignment. It doesn't really work that way with inside drift. So, I mean, it's just a great track as long as you have medium handling. First place, easily one of my best tracks. And second overall, OGM out, final four. I feel like this is my worst track out of all of them. Let's see if I can actually not play like an idiot. I fall off so many times in this one. One time I didn't even get a lap. No! Give me a bullet. That's terrible. If 
Okay, I shouldn't have used my golden. That didn't help me at all. I'm so far behind. There's two more laps. Maybe if my competitors fall off, I'll be okay. Gosh. I, I just... I'm so bad at this one. I'm literally gonna lose to standard bike, standard cart. Uh -oh. What? Well, that's new. ZPL, you did not account for 9999. <laughs> I'm gonna get lapped. I'm so far out of it. Shortcut! Oh! Wait, wait, I should be doing that every time. That's actually good. I'm just too far behind. Yeah, it's over. All right, fourth place, standard bike M. Hilarious, but not for me. All right, I'll see you guys at the finals. This has been Matutino's day. He's made it to the finals again, and this time versus Roxy. Roxy on the standard cart L, more like standard cart W. I cannot believe this standard cart L in the finals. I mean, this is an uphill battle for Roxy. Like, she's keeping it close. Machutino only has a very slight lead right now. Oh my gosh. I need to watch Roxy's perspective, just see how this is even doable. It's gonna take everything. Machutino is gonna have to mess up. It's just a really unfavorable track for cards. Roxy played phenomenal. Like, really great job by Roxy, but Machutino is gonna get his third point on the leaderboard. Congrats to Machutino, this was Machutino's day. And I mean, Roxy also has three points. You guys will be seeing both of them in the Invitational, no doubt. Be sure to like and subscribe. Day eight will be here before you know it. You know, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC wave coming out and stuff, but it'll be here soon, I promise.